Hi, today I'm at Pro Surya residence. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is to test run their genset. Okay, as usual, before test run the genset, you need to enter the genset room first. Okay, here I'm in the area of the sprinkler pump room. This room is to access to the genset. This is a genset door. Okay, here, as we enter, there's a ST Borang B. Okay, do make sure it's not expired. Okay, this is the genset room. As we enter the genset room, we must check the safety first before everything else. Okay, according to the regulations, we must have a CO2 fire extinguisher. If possible, best near the access. That means just next to the door, within one or two meter. Okay. And here, this is the CO2 cylinder. Normally, I check the CO2 cylinder by knocking on it and slapping on it. As I hear the sound, there's a tingling echo. That means the cylinder is filled. And do check the pilot cylinder as well. This is the pilot cylinder. Do make sure it's in the green zone. Or if let's say there's no green zone, you need to double check is the PSI at 1000 and do make sure it's not triggered next let's check okay this is a rubber mat but this rubber mat is a bit out of standard it's just a similar rubber mat or they use it as a replacement due to maybe unavailability of the stock or they just simply don't take it seriously they just simply use a normal doormat so not recommended to use this kind of doormat as a rubber mat replacement okay here we have a diesel tank the current level is somewhere around 700 liter almost 85 percent or you can assume as 90 uh, percent or no 80 uh, percent okay do check is there any leakages valve open this is the diesel tank pit okay and there's a retaining wall according to the bomba regulations this retaining wall height is required to have one third of the total height of this diesel tank it cannot be this low it have to be one third at least and it's recommended to fill up this pit with sand for this there's no sand here okay i will advise them all right here we come to the gen set okay uh, before that this is the air inlet and we have a fire curtain here okay sometimes the bomba requirement may require to trigger this fire curtain to see whether it can come down or not to block to block the excess of air during the co2 trigger inside every genset room to trigger the co2 system you need two triggering signal one is a smoke detector another one is a heat detector smoke heat the heat normally is defined as you, the temperature must be more than 68 degrees Celsius. As for the smoke, it depends on which model. Some is too sensitive, some is less sensitive. However, I'm not a firefighting contractor. I cannot tell you much on that. Okay, then later on is the genset. This is the genset. From here, we can see above the genset there's some piping here it's being installed during the main con uh, time uh, i don't know why it's approved by the architect however it is recommended to have an awning or something to separate if in case this piping have leakages or the pipe burst then the water will spill over to this genset and it could cause a short circuit to the alternator 
because inside here we have bus bar 415 LV okay we have to advise them to do so okay let's come to the genset this is the genset fuel injector here is the mechanical fuel solenoid if you hold this one you can crank test the engine won't be able to start it can crank on it okay this is the Doosan engine belting quite tight how to check the tightness of the belting from this end to this end you find a middle this is the middle and you press as you press if the distance you can press is more than one inch that means it's no good you need to retighten the tension is too loose in this case in this case okay it's quite okay the tension is well the grip is okay no slip all right here we have the servicing date 22nd may 2020 okay let's check this fuel source the fuel hose good condition quite rubberized there's no worn and tear over here no leakages let's check over this side okay there's no unburned fuel normally if Jen said you have unburned fuel and on the exhaust manifold this gap and this gap you have the unburned fuel dripping out it's designed to do so otherwise if it doesn't drip out it will choke this area so your exhaust won't be able to come out here we have the starter this is the termination make sure it's tightened okay check the terminals if the terminals there's loose you will find excessive overheating then the black color will be shown at the bolt and nut okay touch the battery to see any abnormal heat or not sometimes due to overcharging the battery can be overheated how to know the level you can use a torchlight to shine it through to see where is the line something like this okay you can see barely see the line if you want to see it clearly you have to shake it then you can see the water flowing there okay almost maximum most of it this is a nickel cat battery you can only refill it with distilled water or deionized water almost miss out check the engine oil most of the time we check the engine oil they must be full level however to know it whether it's clean or not find a surface and rub it on then you can see how much carbon there is if let's say the oil have a lot of carbon that means it's time to replace the engine oil in this case as I feel it there's quite uh, some texture here there I can feel the lubricants that means the quality is still there okay still can use some more no issue okay next we go to the radiator water level always remember before you open this cap try to feel the water is it hot inside if it's hot that means there's pressure built up you cannot just simply open it okay as the, in this case as I touch here touch here okay it's cold that means no pressure so I can open it
Okay, do touch it to feel there's water inside or not. Okay. There are many types of coolant in the market. Some coolant is colorless. Okay. However, if you smell it, it will, it will taste a bit like a chemical. Okay, uh, as, we, as we check the parameters, everything seems fine. So let us check the controller unit. Okay, this is a voltage. Twenty-seven point six. Alright, we're going to test run this genset under test mode. As I turn the selector from auto to test position, do self-calculate how many seconds it delay before going to the crank. And as the genset crank, do uh, try to see how many seconds it need to crank in order the genset to achieve a full speed and also try to witness the word meter here, how long it takes to achieve 415. Okay, there we go. Okay, what I adjusted here is the shutdown timer. Just then, after the genset has run smoothly, I turn back from the test selector to the auto selector. Okay, due to the ATS didn't send signal to start this genset, as I turn back to the auto mode, immediately the shutdown timer will initiate and activated and delay for three minutes before asking the genset to stop automatically. The reason I turn this to here because I want it to shut down much more faster. Also to test the timer relay, is it functioning accurately or not? Because sometimes this minute timer under analog, sometimes the setting or the accuracy is a bit uh, not accurate because sometimes they were situations you set through three minutes it will delay for six minutes i just want to test the accuracy so this is a shutdown timer okay then you have the attempt start timer oil pressure timer start timer fail start timer okay this is the fsm is 
few solenoid master and this is a fail relay we have the battery charger here this is the under voltage relay UVR relay and then here we have the port check relay alarm cancel relay FSR fail start relay LOP low oil pressure trigger OSR over speed relay HWT high water temperature trigger relay there's plenty I wish uh, I got the opportunity to share okay now we have just successfully test run this gen set and uh, everything seems to be fine do make sure selector go back to auto this one on emergency stop release okay charger on trickle not boost if it's boost later on you will find that your battery water all dry up due to excessive temperature okay that's it for today i wish my sharing would be able to help you and uh, further improve your work as a charge man okay thanks for watching goodbye and stay safe